Hey, what's up, guys? What's going on? Buy low, sell high. Right back at you again. Yeah, happy Sunday. This is the late night version. We're going to have some call outs real quick and we're going to get right into this one time. Welcome back to my channel. Like and subscribe. Spread the word. Let's go over these stocks. I'm a little frustrated right now because of this daggone U.S. oil. I've been trying to short this U.S. oil, but this joint keeps on going up. Reason being, let me let you guys know I made a mistake. I got into U.S. oil without doing my due diligence. What's really going on right now is the inflation. Inflation is, is going up, and this is what's causing the oil to be priced really high and also the natural gas. I didn't know that. And that's how I got caught up in this, you know, shorten this oil. So I'm in it right now and I'm down. I'm not going to lie. So um, right now I'm trying to do my best to get out of it. I'm hoping that this week there could be some bad news or something so I could get up out this oil so it could drop down. So at least I could break even because right now I'm in the red. So inflation, look it up. Uh, go on invest, investopedia.com and they'll, they'll tell you what, what, what happens during inflation. There's certain things that go up like services, goods, and things like that because people's uh, you know, companies and things of that nature start to ch charge higher prices during inflation. So this is what's really going on right now. But let's get into this real quick. Let me go into my call outs and we're going to just break it down like this. All right, first call out. Is a heavy hitter. It's L I V X ticker symbol L I V X. This is Live X Live. Now this is like a media company, entertainment company, something like uh, what's that? What's that thing that uh, Jay Z got? Uh, Live Nation, like something like not Live Nation, but smaller. But this company, I think, is gonna be very big very soon. All right. So they have an earnings June 16th. And right now they're trading at about $4.60. If the earnings is bad, it's most likely going to take a dip. Or even if the earnings is good, sometimes it takes a dip anyways. So anything under $4 is a buy. This is LIVX. It's a reopen play. I just watched something by them. They did the YouTube versus TikTok boxing match that, that featured Austin McBroom versus Bryce Hall. And it was live. I even paid for it. I I, I, I paid uh, pay-per-view like $58 to watch it. It was very interesting. I was streaming it on my phone and it was, it was good. So watch out for this company. This is a long-term company. Get it while it's cheap, around the four dollar price range, and just ride on out with it. It's definitely a good company. All right, next one on the agenda is Oracle ticker symbol O R C L. It has the earnings on June fourteenth. A dip buy opportunity. Remember on these dip buys, use the one day five minute chart. If it goes under that RSI, like around like the twenty. Or the 30 on the RSI, under definitely under the 30, try to buy. All right? Definitely Oracle is a good company, strong company. If, if you catch it on the dip, it's good to add to your portfolio. All right, next one is Home. Where I need to be at right now. But Home is, ticket symbol is H-O-M-E. Earnings this week. On June 16th, look for a dip buy opportunity on this company also. It's a really strong company, and it's in and it's in the consumer staple arena, which the consumer staple arena is is what's doing is is gonna do good during the inflation period. Excuse me if I'm stumbling over my words. All right, let's get it. All right, next one is SWBI. This is Smith and Wesson, the gun company. You know what I mean? The gun company, blah, 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 the gun. I ain't shooting y'all. But yeah, SWBI. All right. 
It's trading around like $20, like $21, $22, I believe, the last time I checked. So look for a dip buy opportunity on that. This is uh, also goods, again, during inflation, they charge, you know, these companies charge more for their products. So look for a dip buy opportunity on this one also. If it goes down under 20, maybe 19, 18, it's a good buy. And the earnings, once again, is on June 16th. Next one, Adobe, big time, A-D-B-E. Earnings on June 17th, dip buy once again, one day, five minute, under the RSI, under 30, 25, 20, under 20 on the RSI, great. This stock is, is a little expensive, this stock is trading above $500, but it's a great company. If you could catch this stock at around $400 a share, or maybe even like around the high 300s, it's definitely a good buy. This company, it's like a type of company where like, if you catch it for a good buy, you just forget about it and just leave it for your kids. Adobe, it keeps on going up. Look at the track record. Look at like the five-year chart. It, it just keeps on going up. It's a great company, solid company. Can't lose your money with this company, but don't get me wrong. If there's like something going on with the economy and then the stock market starts to go down, of course it's gonna go down, but it's definitely a long-term company. All right, now, I know we was talking about inflation and uh yeah yeah we already we already addressed inflation already so we talked about the showing the oil and all this stuff and how i'm ready to start banging my head on the freaking concrete because of this daggone u.s oil got me down a good amount of money right now i'm i'm pissed yeah yeah i'm pissed yeah all right let's let's go let's keep it moving they throw this AC on. It's kind of getting kind of hot in here. All right. Let's see. What else are we looking at here? Okay. All right. Concerning the inflation, concerning the U.S. oil, let's get back to the U.S. oil. There's some important data that's coming in. Tuesday is the PPI report. It's supposed to drop. So this is going to show if inflation is actually rising in the country right so look for that ppi report look at investing.com and that that report is supposed to drop on tuesday a next big catalyst concerning if the oil is going to go up or it's going to go down is the fed the fed the fed is supposed to talk and they supposed to decide the interest rates on Wednesday. That's another catalyst. And also they got crude oil inventories reports throughout the whole week. That's another catalyst. And another catalyst to look forward to concerning if U.S. oil is potentially going to go down is if the U.S. removes the Iran, the Iran sanctions that Trump had imposed during his term, if... U.S. removes those sanctions and Iran gets back. Iran, Tyran, I think, too, uh, gets back into the oil business and, you know, uh, pumping oil out to America and things of that nature. They might flood the market with more oil, which will create more supply than demand. But they're trying to say that demand for this summer is going to be very high. So I'm just looking up to the sky concerning this oil. But let's get back into this. Um, let's get back into PRVB. PRVB, I'm currently in PRVB. This is a good stock. This is a good stock to buy. Reason being, they got a breakthrough drug and they got a PDUF date in July 2nd. Most likely they will get approved. And also, another thing, they have uh they got a company called Venrock Healthcare Partners. They disclosed that they got a 6.1% stake in this company. And I did some research on Venrock. Anytime they put a stake into a company, usually in the next couple of weeks or months, the, the, the stock goes up. I did some research on it, and I seen that 
that's what occurred in the chart, the charts that I, I checked out on, on the different other pharmaceutical companies that they took stakes in and things of that nature. Mind you, this too, PRVB, Vanguard, Vanguard got the, got this stock, this company in their portfolio, right? So Vanguard is a big brokerage. They got it in their portfolio and also iShares. You can check it out. Go to iShares and they have it in their um, portfolio also. So it is a good stock. Some people think it's, it might be a pump and dump, but I don't think it's a pump and dump. It's a really solid stock. All right. My Bitcoin prediction. Look where Bitcoin is at. I was talking about Bitcoin last week and look where it's at right now. Last week it dropped down all the way to 31,000. Now it's approaching 40,000. Shout out to anybody who brought it when I called it out and stuck with it. And now you guys are sitting down relaxing with that Bitcoin. All right. Let's, that's about it. Uh, another thing, always do your due diligence on anything you invest your money into. Just like me. I was thinking that due to the fact that the charts being so overbought on the U.S. oil, I thought that I was, when I, when I went into my short position, I thought I was doing a good thing, but I didn't realize all the things to consider about inflation. Remember, the stock market deals with ma macroeconomics and microeconomics. Remember the macro, the macro I believe is the inflation. So that will trickle down into the stocks. So if you're listening to Bloomberg Radio or you listen to CNBC, whatever topic they're talking about during the days, during the weeks, or whatever it might be, during you know their programming, their shows, be mindful about what they're talking about and what Wall Street is concerned about. When you when you know what Wall Street is concerned about and the topics they're talking about, such as inflation, you gotta go look up. What does inflation do to the stock market? What, you know, what stocks to look at that thrive during inflation? This is what you guys need to look at. Just like I, I realized that I made a mistake and then I, and I keep hearing this inflation. Then I started looking it up. And then when I looked it up, I was like, oh, wow. This is why this oil keeps on going up. And I'm already caught up in it. And I'm already invested my money into it. And now I'm sitting at a loss right now as we speak. So I guess I got to roll with the punches right now or, or I have to cut losses. So remember, anything you put your money into, make sure you do your due diligence and look at the whole perspective of, of Wall Street, of what Wall Street is concerned about and see if you're making the right move. All right. And then... uh. Yeah, do your research. And remember, if you feel very confident in a stock play and, and you did your extreme research, just stay with it. Don't listen to the noise outside because, you know, people will mess up your concentration, mess up your, your perspectives, and then you might, you know, jump ship and forget about it. Then in a, in a week or two later, you'll see that same stock way high and things of that nature. And another thing I want to talk about is this. I know I talked about AMC, game, and things of that nature to try to stay away from them. But what I realized is this. I did my research. I seen AMC and game. They, Vanguard, and, and, uh, and I, no, I believe Vanguard, but certain big brokerages got these stocks and they high growths ETFs. So don't sleep on GameStop and AMC. These brokerages is taking advantage of these stocks and making money off these stocks. So all I can say with those stocks right there, just be very, very careful. If you're a technical trader and you know how to trade, you can make money with AMC and Game. And yeah, you can make it, you can make money with anything in the stock market, but you just got to know how to trade the stocks. But you got to have proper risk management, and which is something that I'm working on myself. So that's about it. I'm going to leave you guys out with this because this video is 
it's way long right now it's 15 minutes so just remember buy low sell high and uh keep focus and like and subscribe and share this with somebody share this with anybody i need some subscribers holla at me that's it remember buy low sell high do or die a raz is high oh nah i'm out y'all yo check and shout outs to austin mcbroom for busting that dude facing bryce hall he was talking too much smack man get it get it all right peace